Hi, I am Dr. Akash Shukla, Director of Hepatology at Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital, Girgaon, Mumbai. Hello everybody. At the outset, I must wish you all a very healthy World Hepatitis Day and wish you all a lot of luck and health, especially with regards to your liver for the next year and for the future. Today we are going to talk on liver on fire. What is this liver on fire? You know, we have heard of conditions where the liver gets damaged because of alcohol or because of viral hepatitis like hepatitis A, hepatitis B or hepatitis C or hepatitis E. But there is another very usual condition, very rare condition where the liver gets damaged very quickly and that is called as autoimmune hepatitis. So what is this autoimmune hepatitis? Here the immune cells of the body which are supposed to protect us from all the external virus, bacteria, fungi, toxins, they turn against their own body and they start attacking the liver cells. Once they start attacking the liver cells, the liver starts getting destroyed very quickly the liver cells start dying. Imagine, it's almost like a Trojan horse. Your body's own immune cells are from within eating up the liver. And the liver is literally on fire in these patients. And very quickly, the liver will start developing cirrhosis or the liver will start developing liver failure. Fortunately for us, this is one condition which can be diagnosed and treat it. How can we diagnose this? We can diagnose this by just having simple blood tests, a test called as fibroscan which is like an ultrasound, ultrasound of the liver and a liver biopsy. Once we have these reports in hand, we can safely diagnose these patients as autoimmune hepatitis. What are those tests which we do? Tests are like anti-nuclear antibody, anti-smooth muscle antibody, serum immunoglobulin G levels, blood biochemistry, liver biochemistry and liver biopsy. Now, just one test positive or two tests positive does not make autoimmune hepatitis. We have to have the entire picture fitting in with autoimmune hepatitis including biopsy so that we can diagnose this condition with confidence. So is there a way we can diagnose this early? Does this condition have any symptoms? So very often in the early stages there are no symptoms at all. The only way to diagnose this very early is on a routine health checkup if we find that the SGOT, SGPT in the blood tests are high or we find that the bilirubin is increased or on a routine checkup of the ultrasound we find that there is a liver parenchymal disease, abnormal ecotexture of the liver or the spleen is enlarged. So some subtle hints may be there that we may be dealing with a severe liver disease and then once we investigate properly we do the blood test, we do the fibroscan, we do the biopsy, we can confirm autoimmune hepatitis. The good thing is most of these patients can be treated with simple medications. We will use corticosteroids for these patients along with disease modulating drugs like azathioprine or mycophenolate. And with the use of these drugs, most patients will go back into remission, do very well in the long run. In fact, even if they have cirrhosis or early liver failure, it can be reversed when we give this right treatment to these patients. So although it is a liver on fire, there are very good fire extinguishers which are available with us 
with which we can not only just extinguish the fire, but then rebuild a, a very good liver once again for normal working. Only in a very rare, very advanced autoimmune hepatitis or a very, very severe autoimmune hepatitis where somebody has developed full-fledged liver failure, we will require a liver transplant. And liver transplant can be done for these patients very safely and effectively. And therefore, today, even if the liver is on fire because of autoimmune hepatitis, most patients can live a normal, healthy and a long life with the help of right medications. So, once again, wish you all the best on this World Hepatitis Day and all the, wish you all the health and a good healthy life for the next year and the remaining years of your life.